all right guys what's going on welcome back to the channel welcome back to cyborg gaming we're here today for part nope not part i always say part we're on episode 14 or is it 13 i believe it's 14 uh just look at the title of this video uh i'm just gonna stick with episode 14 we're here for episode 14 of our uh my team in formula one 2021 in the last episode if you haven't seen that link up here uh we were in italy and we took p9 uh after starting p9 on the grid i don't think we moved any positions whatsoever but it was a pretty good race uh there were a few dnfs so we did get a little bit lucky and our teammate uh aaron something oh god who is my teammate i forgot uh aaron barnes or a aaron is it aaron barnes or aaron barnes whatever uh he finished p15 which is much better than anything giuliano uh finished in so we'll take it if you guys want to skip to the race uh just look at the timeline you can skip to the race or this way um but if you want to see the team management stuff and all of our r d uh just stick around for the next few minutes and we're gonna get right into it so first things first uh we're just gonna go ahead schedule some activities get these out of the way okay so for our events we got attend an f1 esports event that's gonna boost our driver claim simulator training just some training for aaron or aaron uh and durability team building just for the durability department so we're gonna go ahead with those we have 1.05 million dollars in the bank now i don't think we have enough to upgrade anything so i think we're gonna hold off for now on uh, spending any cash we can spend a million dollars on our analysis suite maybe we should do that to be honest is i think the goal would be to get everything up to at least spec one by the end of this season hopefully so you know what let's go ahead and upgrade uh the analysis suite for uh aaron you know juliana was here for a few months and we only upgraded <laughs> one thing uh anyways heading into our r d we have almost 2000 r d points we are at 1,917. Uh, looking at the little pie chart, our durability has seems to have passed our uh, chassis and arrow. I think our arrow is slacking the most out of anything, so maybe we should go for an arrow upgrade. Our suggested upgrade would be the heavy dampers for tire wear. I guess we could do this. It is a chassis thing, uh, a chassis upgrade, which. Um, chassis department is slacking a little bit compared to the other department so that is a reasonable upgrade i want to see if we can upgrade anything in our aero department though or have we maxed out everything after this rear wing upper flap i'm assuming this is probably going to be a spec 2 type upgrade the durability is doing quite well our power department is already uh pretty far ahead as we saw in the last grand prix we're gonna go ahead and get the cylinder head upgrade that will be ready for us by the american grand prix we're also going to go for the suggested upgrade and get the improved materials for the turbo it has a 77 percent discount so only 138 uh research points and i believe we have upgraded everything we possibly can for this video so we are almost approaching uh maxing out the spec one upgrades for this car we're gonna have to start working on getting everything up to spec two which means we're gonna have to do well in the races and our sponsorship deals to get more money all right so we're gonna start simulating here uh there's probably gonna be a meeting or something that comes up there's a lot of days here that we need to simulate past before heading to the Russian Grand Prix. We're also going to look just before the race to see maybe we got our weekly income and all that. Come on, we've got talented young drivers lining up around the corner to get a drive in this team. And somehow we haven't managed to sign anyone. This operation isn't long for this world if we're running a barely qualified reserve driver each race. We need to get a proper second driver in the next window. If they're going to be all 
pissy about it, uh, we will look at signing a new driver. So after playing around with the menu for like five minutes, I can't find anything uh, that allows me to sign a new driver. So maybe there's a certain window where I have to sign them. A major issue on the production. Uh, so the entire development package for the weekend has failed. No. Any developments will need to be ordered from the R and D screen. Okay, well let's go to the R and D screen. Uh, what failed? So I think that was for the aero department. Let's go there. Uh, insufficient points. We don't have enough points to restart the upgrade. Oh man. Okay, well that's gonna have to wait until next video then. Let's head over to the race guys or the qualifying and I'll see you in just a second. All right guys, so we just finished the practice sessions. Uh, no news to report really. Nothing too special to happened. Just the usual uh, practice sessions for us. And here we go into our one-shot qualifying. Now, we have sunny conditions, so we don't have to worry about uh, driving in the rain or anything like that. First turn, flat out, not even a turn, really. And now headed into the second turn and the famous uh, bear turn. I don't even know what it's called. I don't know why I said it's famous, but whatever. We are learning... Russian Grand Prix was maybe two or three weeks ago for me. Now that turn was very sloppy and that costed us about three places. Hopefully we can make that back. We're currently in P7 with uh, Valtteri Bottas currently in P1 heading into the second DRS zone. Can activate that DRS. ERS obviously already activated, so we are getting maximum speed out of this Ferrari engine. Currently in P6. Oh, we were not supposed to go down into gear two, but we're gonna stay right on the edge of the track here. Sorry, I'm going a little quiet here. I just wanted to focus. We are in P8, P5. Now we can't screw up these final corners here Oof! what did we finish in we went a little bit outside the track there but I think it was okay drivers usually tend to take the outside limits of that part of the track so ooh, I last time I saw it was p5 let's go p5 okay so we have a legitimate shot at uh, possibly getting a podium. I don't know how we're going to compete with uh, the Mercedes and the Red Bulls who lock out the front two rows. Um, I want to see how Aaron did. Uh, oh, <laughs> okay. So he finished in last uh, two tenths of a second behind Nikita Mazepin with the 25 uh, driver rating. Not going to come complain about that but we have p5 guys let's head right into the race all right guys so it's race time uh 11 laps on the soft 16 on the mediums the start is gonna be very important we need a good start uh it is i forgot how far it is but it's more than or about a kilometer i think the first straight so we need a good start to carry that speed through into the second turn or first turn uh and let's get this race started guys so we're gonna activate that ers we are behind sergio perez it looks like and here we go that straight line speed of the cyborg ferrari engine holy it is tight we have like a five car oh i think i might have hit some cars there i think i might have hit some cars there uh i think it might have been verstappen i don't know but we have valtteri bottas right behind us we are wheel to wheel with him. I was trying to give him space going to the outside, but he kind of just tucked in behind me instead of taking that uh, open gap. I don't know how long we're going to be able to keep P1. I don't think our car is meant for that. 
We kind of got lucky heading down the main straight, but let's see if we can possibly get our first uh, first place finish. It's only been one lap, so there's still a lot of racing to go. If we did finish in first, I wonder if there's ever been like a team that finished in first and in last. Oh my god. Okay, that is not good for our tires. We need to be more careful than that. So, at the end of lap one, Cyborg Racing is leading the race. And if I'm not mistaken, this is the first time uh, Cyborg Racing has ever led a lap. After 10 laps, we are approaching the pit window. Um, nothing much has happened. We are still in P3. Pierre Gasly was up our ass for a few laps. And we were. Uh, we were fighting off Pierre Gasly for a little bit, and then Yuki Sonoda is now trying to take a, a punch at us before we head into the pit lane. So we're going to do that. And as you can see on that bear turn, uh, we are starting to lose grip in these tires. Uh, look at that 42%. And Jeff is telling us as well, we're starting to lose good 42%, 38%, 36%, and 34%. So that fresh pair of mediums is going to feel absolutely fantastic once we get there. Uh, we have 14% left in our ERS tank. We've been using it a lot to fend off people, especially in this second DRS zone. And we are getting lockups now. Oh man, this is not good. So we've got a virtual safety car now. Or I don't know who. Alright, so we've got the green flag now. Uh, I don't know what these other cars were doing, but I got a massive jump. Uh, the virtual safety car was ending. I still had a positive 1.4 delta, so I just used that to my advantage to get a little bit of a jump. Uh, ahead of everyone else and here we are so lap 11 we should be boxing this lap or next lap the gap to the car ahead is 11.4 seconds with Charles Leclerc and Valtteri Bottas just miles ahead of us I don't know what happened to uh, Verstappen and Hamilton they were with us on the first lap if I remember correctly because Mercedes locked out the front row and then uh, Red Bull locked out the second row and they're not even in the top five so I don't know where the heck they went maybe they got into a fight they got into a, another accident or something caused them to pit I'm not sure but all I know is that they... oh Okay, so Valtteri Bottas has... Okay, so we're going in the pits. Uh, Valtteri Bottas has an issue with his car. And... Yeah, duh. Sorry, I was trying to focus on getting into the pit lane correctly. Uh, Valtteri Bottas has an issue with this car. We are in P2, however, we're going in the pits now, so we're dropping all the way down to P7, P8... Probably going to be around P15 by the time we get out of the pit lane. Oh, we have to replace our front wing too? What? When did we take front wing damage? What? Oh my, that might have killed our whole race. No, I don't remember sustaining front wing damage, man. Oh my god. So now we got to put it up a good lap. We are in P18, and that might have just might have just pulled the Lando Norris there, and that might have costed us our podium for the race. Oh man, I was really looking. We were really looking good to, for a podium this race, to be honest. We went into the pit in P3 with Charles Leclerc and Valtteri Bottas ahead of us. I don't know how he's doing. He had some issues with his car earlier in the race. So we are right in the middle of this uh, 
big train right now following through the dirty air of all these cars and we are trying to get DRS on these cars show off the power of that cyborg racing engine and we just need to follow these cars correctly we're gonna activate that ERS we're gonna get the slipstream off of Kimi Raikkonen and look at that we already have a lot of pace on him so we're gonna try and overtake Raikkonen look at that we are at max rev it's probably not good so we break late he can be breaking out a major lock up there and we're able to pass him with ease and now we got Yuki Tsunoda in front of us oh god here comes Kimi Raikkonen he comes storming back oh and we just leave the two Alfa Romeos in the dust. We've been battling with that team all freaking season. I swear I've been in front or behind an Alfa Romeo for most of the races this year, which is kind of funny. Can I activate that ERS? Come on. Did we get in? No, we missed it. Okay, so here comes Max Verstappen out of the pit lane. We are going to be battling him. I haven't seen him all race ever since the first turn. He has been in my rearview mirror, hypothetically, because there are no rearview mirrors on an F1 car. Uh, they're side mirrors, not the rear view. Uh, so Verstappen, right up our A right now. Now, hopefully, with this traffic, we are able to catch up to the cars here. We ride the curb. Oh, that sausage curb does not look good for the floor. Every time I ride over one of those, it's almost like. You just get scared for the floor of your car. In terms of tire wear, we're doing pretty well right now. We've been on these tires for four laps, and we are at about 10% uh, for each of the tires. So we are going to break early here. We don't want to uh, smash into the rear of Yuki Tsunoda. We want to follow them through the dirty air as carefully as possible. So we are going to activate that DRS uh, on the slap. And hopefully at least overtake Yuki Tsunoda. So we gotta get to the end of the race on these tires. We got pace, we got the slipstream. I don't think we have enough road though to get past Yuki Tsunoda. Lance Stroll is battling with George Russell. The Williams, he is in P8 right now. Oh no, he's in P7. And I can feel the car kind of slipping off of the race line. We got a massive battle here. I'm loving this. Uh. So right now Cyborg Racing, oh Verstappen looks like he wants a, a part of this too. We got a four way battle for 7th place. And after that front wing replacement we had to take uh, at our pit stop, we are now battling for P7. But you know what, we're going to save that ERS for the main straight uh, going into turn 2. Because even if we overtake, oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. Look at this. We are following Yuki Tsunoda pretty well right now. Oh my god, I almost jinxed it. Oh man, this is intense. We haven't really done much, but the pressure is on to get as close uh to the behind of Yuki Tsunoda before heading into the DRS, which we don't do very successfully here. However, it may be enough to take uh, overtake Yuki Tsunoda. Actually, you know what? No, nope. it won't be enough. Russell and Stroll still bobbling for that P7. Stroll's just getting an inch closer every lap. Yuki Tsunoda, there he goes, trying to pass line Stroll, and he does. So now we're going to be battling Stroll. 4P9. Oh man. Oh crap. Verstappen is right on our on our rear. We gotta give him space. I give him space. He's not able to overtake me though. 
So we gotta be careful too because we're trying to get into P9, but at the same time, Versapper is trying to get into P10. He's trying to get into the points for Red Bull. Oh man, you know what? People don't like Russia that much. I'm like, after watching the. Oh man, crap, that was so shitty. After watching the Russian Grand Prix. Oh my god, there's been a crash! <laughs> I just saw that line. <laughs> There's no way that's just a regular virtual safety. Okay, so there's a full safety car. And that was a massive crash. I looked behind me to... I don't. I think I was trying to see where Verstappen was behind me. And all I see is a bunch of cars smash into the wall. So on lap 17, we are... Uh, we are in P9 now as uh, Yuki Tsunoda heads into the pit. I don't know if he's maybe on a different tire strategy or he suffered some wing damage. I'm still a little bit upset that after, uh, well, look at all that debris. Oh my God. I think that was one of the rebels. That might've been Verstappen who was in that crash, but I don't think I did anything. I hope I wasn't the cause of that crash, man. Oh my God. I'm going to be so upset because I don't feel like I did anything. I know I break a little early, but like, I don't even know if I break a little early. I'm just breaking when this, like, race line tells me to. And I can't break any later. Otherwise, I go way past the apex. So, uh, that's on for Sapperin, okay? That's not my fault. So, we're on lap 19 to 27. And it's been a pretty good race thus far. If you guys are liking the video, make sure you drop a like. Make sure you subscribe. Um, honestly, after the italian grand prix the italian grand prix was a pretty good race as well if you haven't seen that uh hit the link up here add it to your watch later and watch it after this all right so here we go drs is gonna be enabled gotta show the power of that cyborg racing engine russell is going for it on lance stroll or Lance Roll is going for it on George Russell. And we're just kind of caught in the middle here. We're going to take that inside positioning before uh, George Russell does. And Lance Stroll and myself, we are able to take over or overtake. I don't know why I keep saying take over. But we're able to overtake George Russell in the Williams. So he is now behind us. And we are following Lance Stroll so close here. Now, the Russian track, I don't know if I've just played a lot of the so Soshi track online but I know this track pretty well in terms of the braking zones and all that maybe sector 3 is a little iffy but I think that's a little iffy for everyone so that DRS is activated Lance Stroll does not have DRS so we're gonna go to the inside here and we're gonna try and oh my god very late breaking I think Lance Stroll just hit us in the rear I'm gonna save that the rest of that ERS for later. That's 69%, now 70%. Uh, we are now in P7. And we're looking for an even better finish than the finish we had at the Italian Grand Prix. Alright guys, so final lap of the race. Lando Norris has managed to close the gap down on us from I I don't know if it was three seconds. Or something like that but he is just outside of drs range we are currently in p7 nothing has happened uh since the end of the safety car where lance stroll and i overtook uh Yellow flag. george williams george russell why did i say george williams <laughs> uh since we overtook george russell and then after that i overtook lance stroll Nothing has really happened since then. Lance Stroll seems to have dropped behind since then. As it is now Lando Norris in the McLaren who is behind me. Oh my god, he is right behind me. Okay, so we have got quite the race here. Uh, we're going to have to activate that ERS right now. And pray that Lando Norris doesn't overtake us. We're going to take the... Oh no, he took the inside. Oh, no! Crap, I think we just lost that spot to Lando. Oh man. 
So on the last lap, we just we just really gave up on that final uh, lap here. But on the last lap, Lando Norris is able to overtake us, and we are gonna finish in P8. I mean, that's one position better than where we finished in the Italian Grand Prix. Uh, ah, man, but that front wing just killed our whole race. It was still a good race, though. I had a great time uh, doing that race. It wasn't very boring besides maybe the last five to seven laps. That we're just, uh, you're just cruising at that point. Besides that, the rest of the race was pretty intense. Aaron Barnes uh, finishes in P18 ahead of both the Haases, and they're mad that we're keeping him on our payroll. Giuliano couldn't even do that, I don't think. I gotta look back at the other videos and see how Giuliano did in those races, but I mean, for a guy with the 25 overall, like, I'm pretty impressed he's able to come in P18. Alright guys, so we have reached the end of the video. If you guys watched to this point, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that stuff. Uh, next video, we got Singapore, and we don't touch anything after. We got $2 million in the bank, 1,300 R&D points, and we're going to try and sign a new driver because they keep harassing me to sign a new driver, but we can't for whatever reason. Maybe it's a glitch. I have no clue. Uh, but we're going to try again in the next video to sign a new driver. Otherwise, we're going to have to stay with uh, Aaron. Anyways, guys, again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Peace out.